Good morning and this Friday welcome to our daily prayers. One thing I've noticed is my dog Alfie is quite enjoying having my wife Chris and I around all the time. He gets lots of attention but as well as hanging around with us he started to notice that there's splashes of sun um, all around the house in different places and which move as the day goes on and he seemed to find these little triangles of sunlight for him to sit and lie in and enjoy the warmth. So we settle ourselves down as we prepare to pray. Lord, we bring our emptiness to receive from your fullness, our aloneness to be changed by your presence and our brokenness to be healed by your love. We bring the darkness of our sorrow, pain and fear to be transformed by the blazing light of Christ's resurrection, where our prison doors to be thrown wide open by the wonder of the empty tomb. We come in the name of Christ, who promises life and hope and peace to all who come to him. Amen. We're going to return to that passage in John 20 where Jesus appears to Thomas, uh, picking it up at verse 26. A week later, <clears throat> Jesus' disciples were in the house again and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, see my hands, reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Thomas was allowed to be convinced. Um, we were looking at that yesterday in Jesus' graciousness. But here we look at Thomas's response. It's not just an intellectual one. Yes, Jesus, you are God, I now realise. <clears throat> it's actually much more personal than that. Thomas says, my Lord and my God. And that is the centre of the Christian faith, that God isn't God in a remote intellectual sense, but actually invites you and me that we might know him as our Lord. We begin the Lord's Prayer with the words, our Father. So perhaps a gentle challenge to you this morning. Is he God, as it were, out there, or is he your Lord and your God? Father, thank you. You are not just some religious concept, but you are a heavenly father who wants to know us as your children. So, Father, we want to respond that you are our Lord and our God. Thank you for your constant love of us and please show us how we may follow you today. A space for our own prayers. And so, as I mentioned a moment ago, the Lord's Prayer begins with the word, Our Father. So we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and for evermore. Amen. <clears throat>